Tonight, Daphne, police are on the lookout for a man who conned a local pawn shop in an unusual way. News 5's Bill Riles reports tonight that the man is now wanted by police departments across the southeast for running the same scam. Call it the case of the fake babe, Babe Ruth to be exact. In 18 years, first time I've seen something like this. Daphne police say this man, Shane Allen Simpson, walked into Eddie's pawn shop back in June with this baseball. He said was signed by legendary player Babe Ruth. He even had a letter of authenticity. But of course, you've already guessed, it's a fake. But the folks here at Eddie's, understandably, said they really didn't want to talk about the whole scam. And they said sports memorabilia isn't really their thing to begin with. But they did say that the Babe Ruth signed baseball and the letter of authenticity looks pretty authentic. Don't feel bad, Eddie's. Hundreds of millions of dollars are lost each year to sports memorabilia fraud. Plus, the ball Shane Simpson was trying to pawn looked just as good as these pricey, supposedly authentic items being sold on eBay. And there was a letter of authenticity after all. The image of this letter is actually readily available on the Internet. And it took a while for the scam to be uncovered. Pawn shops hold on to pawned items for three months, giving the customer time to come back and recoup it with interest. Uh, Ninety days went by, the loan defaulted. Uh, Eddie sold the baseball, and uh, the, the customer who bought it did a little checking on the uh, letter of authenticity and found out that it was a forgery. Eddie's refunded the money, but during that three months, Simpson was busy pulling his scam on at least a dozen other pawn shops in Texas, Mississippi, Florida, and the latest in Marietta, Georgia. While Eddie's only loaned a few hundred dollars, Simpson took one pawn shop in Texas for as much as $2,000. Reporting from Daphne, Bill Riles, News 5. Simpson faces fraud, forgery, and theft by deception charges, and he's also on probation in Florida, where he hasn't reported in to his probation officer in more than two years.